Happy Monday! We're in my study office today and I'm uh, drinking tea. We ran out of coffee today. Not a good morning when I run out of coffee. Um, I know there was a time, about a year and a half that I lived in England, that I drank tea every day. And I thought it was great, or at least drinkable. But, you know, times change. And uh, there was a time I thought this was a good hairstyle, too. Never forget. Oy. Um, I walked Billy to school this morning. It's a very dark, gloomy morning. And when we stepped outside, he said, um, it's nighttime outside, because the street lights were still on because it was so cloudy and dark. And I said to him, no, it's not nighttime, it's just cloudy. And I had this wonderful, happy, uplifted feeling. And I like this sort of sense of anticipation, which didn't didn't fit with the weather, the, you know, the way the, the environment looked at all. And I was explaining to him that, um, you know, it was cloudy and dark, and that meant it's probably going to rain. And when it rains, that means that we get inside playtime. We probably wouldn't go to the playground today. We'll probably be playing indoors. And um, then it hit me. That's what I was so had such anticipation about. My brain was recalling my childhood journeys to school, elementary school in the morning. And whenever the it looked all dark and gloomy like that, that meant there was a very good chance we wouldn't have PE. And instead, I'd get to go to the lunchroom and play checkers and duck duck goose. And uh, yeah, I was never a particularly athletic child. So when I got to forego the president's athletic test to um, play checkers and duck duck goose I was all over it and uh, a not very athletic child became a not very athletic adult as well I have to say I hate exercise except walking which I've been able to do pretty regularly with the kids and um, after I dropped Billy off at school I took an hour-long walk which was really nice it was so cool outside and and uh, kicking off my new commitment to living healthier. I'm going to exercise every day that I can and eat healthier and do good things for my body because I want to be around long term. And that's the fact of the matter. I want to be here for my kids as long as I can. Both of my kids, but you know, to be honest, um, there's specific reasons to want to be available and, and helpful to Billy as long as I possibly can because chances are my autistic child is going to be an autistic adult and is going to probably need some kind of help and I'd like to be the one to give it to him as long as I can. Um, you know, if we're really lucky he'll be very independent and, you know, may just occasionally need me to explain jokes to him or something. <laughs> I'm probably not the one to ask for that, but, um, you know, but there's also a possibility he may need more help. He may need some help with getting up in the morning and paying bills and finding a job, and he may need to live with us for a long time. I don't know. Um, you know, I, I'm hoping for the best, and we're, we're, we're living like we believe in the best. Um, he's so smart. But, you know, we're going to plan for potential realities as well. And one of the things, I, I need to get healthy anyway. And I, this is not like those days around this time when I was on crazy diets because I wanted the scale to say a certain number or to fit into a certain pair of jeans. Um, well, actually, I'd still like to get into a certain pair of jeans. There's been one pair folded up in the cabinet in there for about four years now. Um, but uh, that's not the priority. Priority is is the long term priority is um, is being long term and having a good quality of life. When I'm 120 and you know my kids are in their 90s and we're talking about jokes. So exercise done for the day. I'm going to have a nice healthy salad for lunch and find some actual coffee because this ain't cutting it. Um, sorry England. But uh, I'll see you next week.